Hi all, welcome to the Urbi Academy. Today's topic is SQL query to find the highest salary of the each department. And uh, I am taking the two tables here. One table is the employee table and uh, other table is the department table. In the employee table, what and all columns I have is like the ID, name, salary, and department ID I'm taking and the respective data types I'm using here, you can see in the screen. Okay, and how we can uh, create this uh, table is, you can use this uh, statement, create table, table name and ID int, salary int, name, where care, department ID, where care. This one, you can use it and uh, you can create the table. Let me show you that. I'm going to create the employee table here, okay? Okay, the employee table has been created. If you want to see that, you can see employee table has been created, right? See here, employee table, ID, salary, name, and department, okay? And next, and uh, department. Uh, in the department, what and all columns I have is ID and name, and uh, what is the data type is int and where care I am using. And <clears throat> you can use this statement or to create the department table. Okay, let me go ahead and uh, let me create that. Okay. Here I am creating it, okay. So department table has been created. Okay, so you can see it here. Okay, and before that, and uh, how we can uh, connect to the database using the CMD means, I will show you that, so that uh, I will show you this uh, department and employ all the steps, okay? Go to the, go to the search, go to the CMD, type MySQL, hyphen U, what are the, you means uh, username and uh, hyphen P means password. You enter, queue the password and show the data basis. Okay. Uh, I want to see, uh, I want to use this demo. These are the databases I have. Okay. So you can, um, most of the timing in the companies will be using the command mode only. That is the reason I wanted to show you the command mode only. Okay. Uh, in, order, in order to uh, use this uh, demo one uh, schema means I have to use the script like the use demo one, then semicolon. Okay, how many tables are there? Show tables. Okay, you can see the tables. Okay, customer department. I have created the two tables, department and employee table here I have created. Okay, if I want to see the employee, what and all columns it has is DSC, DSC. Okay, DSC. Okay, see here. ID int and accepting the null or not default is null. We are uh, showing it here. Okay, these are the column. Uh, similarly, you can check the department what and all uh, data it has is the columns is it has uh, is okay. ID and the name the same thing we have created. Let us go back and insert the pure data. Let us take an example and uh, uh, using the example, uh, example in the sense we, we are going to insert the pure record in it and we are going to find out the highest salary of the each department. Okay. And what is the process? And I'm going to example one here. You can see here input employee table. What and all data I'm going to input is the first oh, ID one Joe. Is, like the 70,000 and department ID, I am going to take. Similarly, I am going to take in the employee table fire record, you can see it here, okay? I will uh, I will insert the record and I will show you the as of now, the employee table is empty. I'm going to insert these exactly the same data. I'm going to show you that also. In the uh, Go to the department table. Department table, I am going to insert these two records. One is the uh, um, oh, ID is one and ID two. And these are the two 
department where in IT and sales. Okay. And I am going to insert the data into the two tables, employee and department. To insert the employee table, uh, we are going to use this query. We copy this and um, insert the record into employee table. Okay. So execute it. Okay. You can see uh, here only whether the data has been inserted or not see it all the data has been inserted okay and insert the record into the department table using this insert statement copy this and uh, go here and insert in the cmd mode also you can insert okay there's no problem with that okay i am going to select the statement select start from uh, a demo one is the schema name this is the table name okay so uh, see here it and these are the things it has been inserted okay so as i said right in the it and these are the values i have inserted now okay now okay so and what is the output each department i want to show the this is my expected output okay what is the expected output is mm, it joy nine uh ninety thousand sales honey eighty thousand IT milli ninety thousand. Okay, see here the department IT IT has to came two times and why? Because the ninety thousand has uh, joy and milli has the same salary. We have to display the two times uh, IT department. Okay, and the I will uh, I will tell you the uh, many many beginners uh, where they are going to make the mistake and how uh, they are writing the queries. Okay and explanation milli and joy both have the highest salary in the it department as i show shown you right okay and honey has the highest salary in the sales department this is the explanation for this okay and we need to display okay and beginners will make the mistake as below okay i will show you i will execute this i will uh, show you how the beginners is going to make the mistake Okay, and I will execute it here only. I will show you. See here, what has it is given? IT joy ninety thousand sales. Okay, only, only what had happened? Only the two records came. We are expecting. We are our output should be. Oh, uh, what we are expecting is. We are expecting output as this, but we have got this. Okay, we want to get this means what we have to do. What we have to do. So what uh, what the beginners, uh, what we have done here is, uh, like the, we have combined the two table employee and department and on condition E dot department ID, D dot department, D dot department ID and group by department ID we have taken, okay? So, and max salary we have taken. So, oh, we need to make the some changes here so that uh, we'll get the desired result, okay? We should not write the query like this whenever the intruder is going to ask this question okay so you need to see that okay input what and all input they are giving what is the expected output okay they might give the expected output based on that we need to write the queries okay and so as you can see here right in the sample uh, sample input uh, sample input you can see here sample input uh, like in the department uh, there are the to um, the same department, we can have the two higher salary, right? That is the reason we have to alter our query like this. Okay. And this is the output I have shown you. Correct SQL script. I am dividing uh, dividing the query into a particular uh, script into the uh, three, pra, uh, three parts. Step one, step two, and step three. In the step one, first find the highest salary. How we can find the highest salary is using this select department ID maximum salary from employee group by department ID. You can copy this and execute here also. No problem. Okay. So let me.
difficult here. It is not uh, giving as proper, okay? Okay, so it is giving something error. Okay, let me execute here. Okay. See here, IT, this I have selected the highest salary, right? Highest salary. Uh, first, I have se selected the highest salary. Then combining those two uh, join the both tables. How we can combine the uh, two tables is, okay, the like the employee and uh, department inner join based on the common uh, column between these two is the department ID is common. That is the reason I have used the on condition here. And then uh, like the uh, what I am selecting, what I need is as per the output, what I need the first I need is the department and employee and salary I need now. So employee salary I need. So I am going to select those things here. D dot uh, name as department, E dot name as employee and uh, salary as salary. Only three columns I need from these tables. Okay, let me uh, um, execute it. What the What is the output you are going to get here is? This is the ID, okay? See here, all the department, okay? So just we have combined these two and we have got this one. Out of this, we need to find out the highest one, okay? Highest salary, we need to get it. The last step, it is going to show the filter. The Once we are ready with this, once we are ready with this, put the condition in the where condition, you have to do like this, okay? Uh, what exactly? Where condition, department ID and salary, I am going to pass this from whatever the data I have collected here. The department ID and maximum salary I have collected. Now, from there, so I am passing to this second query so that I am going to get the desired result. And the final query is, you can see here, the it is the second query. And third query is, I am adding the where condition, department ID, salary, in, and whatever the first query. This is the first query. Okay, you are going to, uh, you are getting it right. See here, this is the second query. Okay, this is the second query. This is the first query. Okay, and this is the third one. This only where condition and I have added this much only. Okay, don't get confusion. Okay, so just uh, I am making it clear here. Okay, don't get confusion. Okay, so let me execute this. If you have the any doubts, please comment on this video. I will check and I will revert you back. Okay. Let me go back here. I'm going to execute to add the semicolon. See here. I am expecting this only, right? IT, Joy, 90,000 uh, 90, sales department, Honey, and this one, IT, mil, this one. Okay. These are the thing. We are getting it, right? And you can, what we are expecting here is, same thing only, na? IT, Joy, 90,000. IT, Joy, 90,000. And Sales, Honey, 80,000. IT, Mili, 90,000. This is the expected one, right? You can see here the output. Final output, we have got as per this expectation. The, this is the second query. This is the first query. And I am passing into the department ID and salary here so that we have got the desired output. Whenever someone is asking you to write the, find out the uh, highest salary of the each department, please try to uh, write the query like this, then it is perfect, okay? And if you feel the my content is good and please like, subscribe and share my video. Thank you. Thank you very much.